praise the Lord. Let's look at the book of Matthew, chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1, we are going to read from verse 18 to verse 25. Please let there be no noise. Matthew chapter 1, we read from verse 18. Now, the bed of Jesus now, the bed of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privately. But why he thought on these things, Behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost, 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now, all this was done, that it may be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, verse 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the, holy, as, as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife and knew her not. See, she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The reason for the season. <laughs> We are looking at Jesus. We are looking at the topic this morning. Jesus, the Savior. Jesus, the Savior. Brethren, we have got a clearer picture right now from this passage. The purpose of Jesus coming. Remember in the book of Genesis chapter 3, when man fell. God did promise that the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of Satan. So, if God at the beginning had foreseen what was going to happen in the future, and now it has happened, it means that me and you, we have a great hope today. Even before the angel Gabriel was sent to Mary. Prophet Isaiah has already foreseen what was going to happen as well. Hallelujah. Before God set the plan of this world in motion. He has already knew what was going to happen. He knew that man will fall. 
And he equally made a route of escape for mass redemption. Hallelujah. So in Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. The Bible says, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son. And his, his name shall be called Emmanuel. God is with us. Hallelujah. So when Jesus Christ's birth was announced, so Mary, one thing that was significant is that he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah. So brethren, it doesn't matter from which angle we are looking at it today. Jesus is the Savior. Many of us would have had the opportunity to be here today. If Jesus didn't come, Hallelujah. If Jesus didn't come, me and you will have been called the sons of God today. Hallelujah. It's a good thing for us, every one of us to know that the, the opportunity and privilege that has been given to us today is a very rare one, it's not common. So let's work to make sure that we do not allow these opportunities to slip from our hands. Remember, Satan was not happy that God has made man in his image and likeness and Ma was enjoying the fellowship with God on a daily basis. He was not happy. He decided to, 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 to obstruct that fellowship and he succeeded. But God quickly adjusted his plan and made a way of escape. And Jesus came. Brought salvation. Hallelujah. Who are you still looking up to today? Do you look up to do you look up to Muhammad? Do you look up to Hare Krishna? Do you look up to Oluba Oluba Obu? Hallelujah. Do you look up to Oboni Fraternity? Do you look up to Hare Krishna? Or is it even those that call yourself white garment that you are looking up to? Hallelujah. Is it Amok that you are looking up to? Amok Is it the four one nine out there that you are looking up to? All the native daughter you are looking up to. Is it that messy man in that corner? You are looking up to that juju man. Is it even your father you are looking up to? Are you even looking to yourself that you can make it no matter what happens? 
Brethren, I want to tell you that it is only Jesus. Since the world began until now, that is the way to salvation. There is no other name. Under heaven, living among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus, the Savior. If you have not yet known him as your Lord and Savior, you are on a tender list. You are on a tender list. Because the devil is always wanting to grab you. Remember, in First Peter chapter five verse eight, the Bible tells us that Satan, the devil, walked around like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. Why are you playing? Amen. Amen. Jesus, the Savior. Yes, if we look at the book of John, chapter 10, verse 10, we saw a situation that make us, the children of God today, to have life in us. Jesus said that the thief cometh not, but for three men, mission. And the mission is to keep, to see, and to destroy. But thank God for the Lord. He said, I am come. That you may have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Savior. So if you are not yet in the camp of Jesus, behold, you will be exposed to the danger of stealing, killing, and destruction. It is only Jesus that our security is guaranteed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Philippians chapter 2, verse, from verse 9 to 11, the Bible says us that at the name of Jesus, Every knee must bow. So if you do not yet belong to the camp of Jesus, if you are in a danger, no evil knee will bow for you. No party will live way. It is all when you are in Jesus. When you are in the camp of Jesus, that the knee of death will bow. The knee of accidents will bow. The knee of arm robbery will bow. Hallelujah. Jesus, the Savior. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
So very soon, the world all over will be celebrating Christmas. What does this Christmas mean to you? What is the reason for the Christmas? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that the purpose of Christ coming. We will not be defeated in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Christ the Savior. Amen. Amen. Remember, as many that come unto him, he said he will in no wise cast out. The road of opportunity has been opened for you. Utilize it. Amen. Amen. Use it, utilize it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. There are some people who, in the name of Christmas, they will drink, 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 and drink, and become drunk. They will say they are celebrating Christmas. There are those who will go to a guest house and begin to sleep with them when they are not their wives in the name of Christmas. <laughs> there, are so, there are some who will go and buy cigars in Morocco. And begin to smoke. They say they are celebrating Christmas. Celebrating <laughs> Christmas. They do not. They do not yet know what Christmas is all about. They are seeing. They are seeing. <laughs> what Christmas means is deliverance from sin. Hallelujah. Deliver us from sin. That is what Christmas is. So, brethren, as you will celebrate this Christmas 2010, you must remember that Jesus is the Savior. Hallelujah. Don't eat and eat and, and over belly food and forget to and forget your Jesus. Amen. Don't go to Bia Palo and forget your Jesus. Don't allow any man to deceive you. Say, be my girlfriend, be my boyfriend this Christmas and forget Jesus. Don't allow it. Hallelujah. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. Remember the Bible says that Jesus came to seek that which was lost. Hallelujah. Jesus came to seek that which was lost. I and you, we were once, we were once blind. But now we can see. We were once lost. But now we are found. This Christmas. 
This Christmas, the Lord will help us that every bit of the celebration we will always remember that Jesus is Savior in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Let's stand up on our feet. Praise the Lord.